Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to the Monster Island. Okay, so today what I'll be showing you guys will be this set, which is a dinosaur set. Okay, so at the same time, I'll be showing you guys my entire collection of NEA dinosaurs right here. Okay, they're all inside this box. Takara told me dinosaurs collection. Okay, so yep. I will do a room tour maybe after the end of this video, so stay tuned, watch the entire video, so let's get right into it, let's go. Alright guys, now we enter what I call the basement dino dungeon, okay? So right now, let's take a look at this set right here, as well as my entire collection of um dinosaur figurines from the NEA series, okay? Just a quick look at my room right here, okay? Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, so let's begin, okay? First, let's take a look at this box right here. Um, so, yep, I think this box itself, it contains three dinosaurs which are exclusive. As you guys can see, there's a T-Rex, there's a Velociraptor, as well as a... It seems to be a Sticky Moloch. I'm not too sure, we'll have a look at it together. Alright, so here is the box. And this seems to be a... Stickle sheet looks very nice. I would say I'll put this away first All right, let's have a look at this box right here How do we actually open this? I think we should open it from this direction So you open this little flap you flip it over so it seems to be like a dinosaur book Okay, and the dinosaurs are packed separately seems like we have like one two three four five Or is it? only three maybe only three okay there is like a little separator right here okay i'm gonna take a look at this one again because it seems like there are some instructions for us to showcase how to use this little falling tree all right so let's open this pack up all right you can see there is a dinosaur right here, another one, this is a skeleton, T-Rex, this seems to be a Pachycephalosaurus, I think, and this is basically the fallen tree. Alright, I'm gonna put this one right here, let's open up the fallen tree first, I mean it is a tree that can be fallen, okay. So it seems like we have a little base. All you need to do is just to snap this on like this, I think. Quite easily done, as you guys can see. And this is the top part of the, um, the tree. So there you go. Very nice. You can actually place it inside this box right here. So this is basically like a jungle backdrop. You have the Spinosaurus right here. You have the Deinonychus. Pteranodon. This seems to be a Protoceratops, Elasmosaurus, some sea turtles. Okay, so let's put this fallen tree into this playset. You can place it anywhere, but I think we should put it around um, you know, this area where um, you know there are some trees. So let's just put this right here. Okay, so you can actually play along with it. You can move it down like this. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, next, let's open up the new figures. Let's begin with the T-Rex first. Okay. This is the T-Rex. Okay, this, it's a new color scheme. I'm going to show you guys all the different T-Rex in the um, Takara Tomi set. Okay, take a look at this. Pretty nice figure, I would say. You can see some. it has some better scars, you know, at the front part of the tail. Some better scars on the thigh. Pretty cool. I'm gonna put this one right here. Let's open up the other one, which is a sticky... It seems to be a Pachycephalosaurus, I think, because the spikes behind the head is actually not very very long so I suspect this it's a Pachycephalosaurus pretty cute one it's a very very small one our first 
Pachycephalosaurus from Takara told me, I would say. Yeah, very nice. It can stand... I was about to say it can stand pretty well and it, and it just fell down. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Next, let's take, take a look at this. This is basically a raptor. So, um... Yeah, I think there's not much to talk about this, except that it is a new paint scheme. Pretty nice. It is like a mustard orange color. Raptor. Looks pretty good, I would say. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. Hopefully it can stand well. I don't think it can stand well. So, let's just put it like this. Yep. You have to move... Um, the legs and the feet in the right direction in, in order for it to stand. Our last figure, oops, and down it goes again. Our last figure is actually, wow, this is cool. This is basically a, you know, the skeleton or you, or you can say like fossils of a triceratops. And you can see from this little backdrop, there is, you know, some fossil, some fossils of a dinosaur. So I, I suppose we can put this one right here. So it looks kind of um cool. Okay. So of course, the tree, we can put it right in the middle of the forest. Or maybe somewhere near here. Because, you know, the trees right here are pretty large and green. So maybe the trees near to the, to the beach, to the shore will be drier i suppose i'm not too sure and of course you can put in um the t-rex over here you can put the raptor you know anywhere you like and of course we have this little pachycephalosaurus okay so this is a brand new set which i think looks pretty amazing i like it quite a lot so let's move on and take a look at the remaining figures that we have from um takara tomi so right here, we have a Triceratops. If I'm not wrong, this is actually one of the very first figures, okay? It is either AL1 or AL2 or AL3. This one should be AL3 if, if I'm not wrong, Brachiosaurus. Okay, let's move on. This is one of the um, electronic um, figure. I think it's supposed to have sounds, but I think the battery has run, run out. And um, yeah, it can't sing at a moment it can roar at a moment and here we have a a black t-rex this is an exclusive figure it's quite rare yep it's really hard to find this figure so let's put all the t-rex together okay here is another one this one is a pretty cool one you can see it has some feathers on top so this is like a feather t-rex so let's put all the t-rex right here triceratops Maybe, maybe we can put it right at the back, over here. Alright, let's see what else we've got. We have a Styracosaurus, quite a beautiful one. This is a rel relatively new figure, okay? Um, it isn't as old as some of the um, AL1 to 3, okay? This is also from Takara Tomi, but it is not part of the NEA series, it's part of the... Um, um, Disney series, okay? Pixar, I, can, I can't remember. Stegosaurus. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. This is a new one, so I'll try to balance it as much as possible. The new um, Raptor. I think this one is really, really beautiful, but I'm trying to make it stand. Yeah, it has some problem standing. Yeah, but right now it seems to be fine. And this new Pachycephalosaurus. Pretty cute. All right, let's see what else we've got. We have a, um, I can't remember the name of this. It seems to be an Iguanodon. Um, yeah, I think it's closely related to an Iguanodon, but I don't think it is an Iguanodon. I don't think so. So let me, let me just put this one right here. Yeah, it can stand very well too. Okay, next we have a prehistoric animal. Woolly Mammoth, beautiful one. Let's put this one right here. Paris Rolophers, okay, which is closely related to this one, I think. Okay, let's see what else we've got. 
This is an Apatosaurus, a really really big figure as compared to the rest. So it has a very long neck with two points. In fact, one, two, three, three points of articulation and um, two points on the tail. Pretty cool. Let's put all the sword parts at the back. Let's see what else we've got. We have some sea monsters right here, Mosasaurus. I think we should have at least two to three Mosasaurus. Tyrannodon right here, pretty cool one. This is one of the um, earlier figures. Let me put this Tyrannodon as you guys can see. There is actually two Tyrannodons over here. So I'm gonna put the Tyrannodon in this book. The tree has um came off, came off from its um base. Let me just put it right back. Yeah, it's kind of loose. Alright, let's see what else we've got. Another T-Rex, as you guys can see, this is another feathered T-Rex. They have some feathers on top. So let's put this right here with the other two T-Rex. Fetheris and Dinosaurus, I think this dinosaur has been pretty famous lately because of the, um, the new Jurassic World movie. Relatively new, I would say, because it came out like a couple of months back. Another T-Rex, this one is actually a um, electronic T-Rex with sounds, but the sounds are no longer working. And Kylosaurus right here, beautiful little figure, known as the fused lizard, because the bones are known to be fused together. Conotaurus. I don't think this is from Takaratomi. This is a quite a beautiful little mini statuette. I would just call this a mini figure of a Triceratops skull. Beautiful one. This is actually from the good dinosaur. So it's not part of the NEA series. So let's put this away. And another T-Rex. This one is actually from a set that came along with this Spinosaur. So these two are, they came in a set together. Okay, let me place this one here. And the T-Rex next to the other T-Rex. A Quetzal Quadlers, guys. Yeah, quite a, um, you know, famous dinosaur at the moment. I mean, it's not exactly a dinosaur. We have a metallic silver T-Rex. Looks beautiful. Another Ankylosaurus, as you guys can see. This time it's a brown one. Another Raptor, as you guys can see. These two are basically having the same sculpt. Okay. I'm gonna put this one right here. Let's try to make it stand. It's not easy. It's really not easy. Okay, there you go. This is actually one of the older raptors. Yep, it is still using the old sculpt, but still pretty good looking. A mini triceratops, a baby triceratops in fact. Let's put on the triceratops right at the back. Another raptor right here using the um, old, old figure. Okay. Another one right here. This time it has a darker shade of green. Pretty nice, I would say. I can't remember what's the name of this dinosaur. It, I think it's a dinosaur discovered in um, um, Japan. It could be a Fukuisaurus, I think. Mosasaurus, as what I've told you guys just now, we actually have a couple of Mosasaurus. We have three of them right here. So these two are basically the same one. Yep. But I think the colors are slightly different because they were released uh, as different figures, but they're supposed to be the same, just a little bit of differences in the, in the color intensity. The very first T-Rex figure, yep, the very first one, it's quite hard to find this one right now, to be honest with you. More T-Rex, we have two red ones right here. I think they're supposed to be the same. Yep, but, but, but we got them from uh, different sets. So basically the different sets were using the same T-Rex figure. 
Here we have two quadrupedal Spinosaurus. Both are amazing. Okay, so the these two are the four legged. I mean, you know, you don't exactly call it four legged. Quadrupedo means walking on four legs. I love this color scheme. The blue one, I think it looks fantastic. Okay. I think we are just left with a few more figures. Another T Rex. This one is a completely different sculpt as um, compared to the rest. You can see the face is slightly smaller. Yep, it's slightly thinner. Okay, slightly thinner. The head is actually smaller. Yeah, and, the, and the skin feels more crumpled. Yep, very different looking. But I would say that the older ones kind of look better. Yeah, I mean, it could be a personal preference. This is um, Futabarsaurus, which is a prehistoric marine reptile discovered in Japan. Here we have a prehistoric man and they are actually known as the Homo nindertalensis. Okay, prehistoric caveman. Here we have a calf of a woolly mammoth, a baby woolly mammoth. Very adorable. This guy right here is actually known as Arlo. Yep, which is from the good dinosaur. And Arlo is actually an Apatosaurus. I'll put it away. Now we are just left with um, two more figures. One is a baby T-Rex, very adorable looking. And uh, the other one is actually a saber-toothed cat. Okay, so that actually brings us to the um, end of the video, as you guys can see. This is basically my entire collection of, um, you know, Takara Tomy NEA dinosaurs. I think they are quite nice, but I don't re really display them. I just keep them in my boxes. Um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.